This episode of The Big Game Records is brought to you by Kane's Deer Velvet. Our body knows how to heal, but as we age it can sometimes struggle to keep up, and injuries, aches and pains come knocking. Kane's Deer Velvet is packed full of amazing nutrients that the body uses in maintaining the immune system, bones, joints, circulation and general well-being. Simply replenish the nutrients, healing happens, and you are left to get on with living your life to the full. Find out more at canesdearvelvet.com and use the code STAGRAW252 for an introductory 20% discount. Welcome back to the STAGRAW podcast, special edition 200 club. Murray McIntyre from the OG spot, Tarua Valley, Kaimano Rangers, this millennia again, 2001, 5x5 five five, as I mentioned last time, 29 and 7 by 29 and 5 nice and even. Uh, spread is also 29 and 6, just under that overspread. Good job. Um, span is 18 and 6. Beams are 4 and 5 by 4 and 4. Coronets are 7 and 7. Brows are 6 and 2 by 7. Uh, trays, 9 and 4 by 8 and 5. Inner tops, 5 and 1 by 5 and 3. Outer tops are 14 and 1 by 12 and 2. And the off outer tops are 6 and 4 by 9 and 5. A total of 208 and a quarter. Unfortunately, we have no details of this rather impressive but untraditional trophy, which strikes a Douglas score worthy of telling the saga of its securing, which is, of course, a great pity. At the time of it being taken by McIntyre, he was resident at Topor, but has since moved to an unknown domicile. As can be see, seen, it is an unusual trophy of 10 points. Although the lower tines are not strong, nevertheless has unconventional top tines, several New Zealand trophies displaying similar configuration. Instead of the conventional Japanese style of a level forked top of, of inner and outer, or perhaps the traditional northern Chinese configuration of three fanned top tines, this set has forked tops usually consistent with the configuration of the antlers of a red deer, particularly those on the right antler although the left side is not typically secine either. Nevertheless, to assure readers there is no suggestion of red influence, the skull measurement was recorded as being 13 and 3 quarter inches. And you've got a full nose there, so <laughs> don't worry about that. This one uh, coming next is Hawkstone Station, 1963. J.S. McClunny, make sure you join us there. On the 200 Club, make sure you've left the rating and are subscribed. This episode of the Big Game Records, it's number one, The Seeker, volume one. New Zealand Big Game Records series, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, Incorporated, incorporated written by D. Bruce Banwell. Published by Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited. P.O. Box 360, Auckland, New Zealand. Um, the copyright is 1999, D.B. Banwell, updated edition 2009, first published 1999, all rights reserved. <laughs> 